Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. This is Tyler Sonic here. Um, I wanted to do a part two video to the Wheel Witness dash cam video that I did a few months back. Uh, for whatever reason, it's doing very good recently. Um, it's one of my most viewed videos per day now, and in the last 28 days we've gotten about 500 views on it. And the first month it was up, we got like 50. Uh, so I'm very pleased with the traction that it's getting. Clearly people are interested in it. So I wanted to do a part two. Um, I didn't do much on part one. I basically just talked about the camera itself and the features of it, but I didn't show any footage. Um, I also didn't show uh, the applications you can use the video footage in to actually use it to its best advantage. Um, and that's what I want to show you guys today. So if you guys are interested, uh, make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. That does help suggest my video to other people which makes it get seen by more people. So um, if you guys could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you guys are new. Um, I'm really trying to grow this channel. We are working towards 1,000 subscribers. So any new subscribers I can get, I truly appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you guys the software um, that I actually use to view my dash cam footage. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is minimize my recording system here. And then I'm going to show you guys, it's called the dash cam viewer. Now I do have the free version. You can purchase an extended version. I haven't looked too much into it, but I know that there's just a couple more options you could use. It's kind of like a free app you would use through Android or iPhone where you can also upgrade it and get more ability. Um, I just do the not now and don't worry about it. Um, so what you can go ahead and do, here's just kind of the base software when you first log in. Super, super easy. So you go up to File, and you open your movie files. Now here, I've already got a folder for dash cam footage on my lap, or excuse me, on my desktop. Um, so what I can do is I can go ahead and just click any of my videos right here, and it will drop it into the software. So you're going to see that load here in just a second. Now look at that, it's already playing the software. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that real quick. And if you guys notice, there's a bunch of windows that open up. Um, one of them I actually already have removed. It's basically a speedometer and a compass, which you don't really need. And the reason I say that is if you notice, below there's a speed scale right here. There's also a speed on screen in my camera the entire time that it's going. As well as I have a GPS and map that's going right here. So I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for you guys. And we'll go ahead and just start playing the video. So if you notice, if you watch this scale right here, I'm not sure why I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see what I'm pointing at. But if you look at the scale, it's constantly updating with the miles per hour. And look how consistent it is. This is a third party software, mind you, going based off of the information being input from my camera. It's pretty accurate. It's not going to be exact every single time, but if you notice, I mean 75, 73, it's not a huge difference. 80, 78, so pretty accurate if you ever needed to use that. Um, I wouldn't rely too much on the scale itself though, just because it does upload or excuse me, update at a slower rate. This uh, miles per hour on the camera itself right here that updates every second. So if I'm staying at 76, it's gonna update. If I'm letting off, it goes to 73, 71, as you guys can see right there. Now, my most favorite part, which you guys might already be looking at, is if you notice, I have Google checked up here. Look at the GPS sensor tracking exactly where I'm going. And if any of you guys are from Utah and you know this area right here, um, coming from Salt Lake up to the northern part of Utah, you know this area very well, and you can see it's matching that map perfectly. So I've got to say, first of all, this third-party software is awesome. Uh, second of all, I am just super pleased with how well this dash cam has been. Thankfully, I haven't had to use it for any sort of insurance purpose. But I am so confident with how good this camera is and all the ability that it has that if I ever needed to use this as far as for proof or evidence of any sort, I know I'm safe. 
I know I've got a backup. This thing is always constantly going. Um, I do have it set to do 10 minute videos currently, and then every time it hits 10 minutes, it basically cuts the file and goes to another video. And I have a 16 gig memory card in here, so it constantly is recording, and once it runs out of memory, it starts to overwrite the oldest file, unless if I've saved it and locked that file in. So as you can see here, we're going around the curve, and there's the map right there. You can see us going around the turn right there to get back on to the main freeway here. Super cool stuff. And there's so many things you can do. Um, there's GPS, there's the miles per hour, there's G4 sensors. So if for any reason I did get into an accident, I can actually track that. You can go right here, and there's where the G-forces would be. Thankfully I have zero, because that means I didn't get hit or hit anything. Um, you can also look at distance, you can look at, uh, and this is miles, as you can see here on the side by the scale. Um, there's bearing, and then you've got your speed, of course, which we were already on. So, um, I typically, just so you guys can tell on this video, I don't have any car audio. And the reason for that is I do typically run with no audio on the camera. Main reason why, to be honest with you, is if I've ever got music going and I have any sort of music and I wanted to look at the video or post the video or anything like that, um, some of the music I listen to isn't the most family friendly, so I do choose to basically cut that out. Um, I do, however, have the ability to turn the audio on at any point. It's very easy. It's a couple clicks of a button and then I can turn the audio back on on the camera. It is actually pretty good audio too. It's very clear. Um, I'll probably do another video where I show footage with uh, the audio turned up. I'm sure you'll be able to hear my car from it, from the exhaust, so we can definitely review that as well if you guys like this type of video. But once again, I just really wanted to point out the fact that this camera is, is super, super clear. Um, and once again, I'm not sponsored by these guys, I'm not paid to say this. I just truly believe that this product is worth every penny. Um, they do have two versions of the Wheel Witness dash, dash Cam. I have the cheaper of the two. Um, quite honestly, I don't know why you would need anything more than this. Um, it's it's simply an amazing camera for the price that it was. Once again, like I told you guys in the last video, I paid $100 at the time of purchase. I don't know if it's still going for that. I believe that was the sale price. So most likely you're probably talking about $120-ish. And I did get it on Amazon. Um, it did have Prime, so I was able to get it in two days. Um, and I've I've been nothing short of impressed with this thing. Uh, the quality looks incredible. I do have it going at 1080 30 frames per second, um, so it does look very good. I do have it in wide angle as well. You can mess with that and get a little bit of a more narrow view, but I don't get why you would want to do that in the form of a dash cam. Uh, the reason I say that is just because simply, if you look on the screen right now, I'm covering I believe that's five lanes of traffic. And my dash cam is mounted in the middle of my dash. Uh, it's actually right below my mirror. You'll see that in the last video that I filmed. Um, and it hangs right below my mirror. So I can't even really, I mean, I can see the screen a little bit. Not that I would need to while I'm driving. Um, but as you can see, on the freeway, and I'm the second to the farthest on the left lane, and I can cover five lanes of traffic with one view. I mean, that's, that's pretty sweet. I believe it's 170 or 180 degree something like that is the degrees of it um, but it's cool that I can actually capture people coming up on the side as well as everything in front of me so alright we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop another video Let's see alright which one should we grab we'll just grab this one here Alright, so as you can see, just dragged and dropped a new video. It's instantly already updated the maps. That is so cool to me. And here's where the view will start, and you can see where the GPS is going to start moving. So once again, you got the miles per hour, the date, the time. And there we go, there's the GPS moving with the dash cam. <clears throat> and then you'll notice since we're doing a 
this one's in the city you're gonna notice this chart down here where the speed goes up and then it's gonna gradually go down every time we go to a stoplight or stop sign and it's gonna pick back up go back down so you guys can see that here as we get to the bottom of the hill in this clip you'll notice we're coming to a turn to a left turn based on the map <clears throat> Alright, so you see right here we're starting to slow down. You can see the scale, you can see the miles per hour on the camera slowing down. And there we are approaching the left hand turn. And there we are, we're stopping, stopping, stopping. And now we're going to be down to zero miles an hour. Now, another thing that's really cool is even though this is a wide angle, you can actually freeze frame and zoom in if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you could see if you needed to get a plate for the person in front of you, if something happened, uh, hit and run, anything like that that you guys can think of, someone leaving the scene of an accident, is a perfect example of when you could need that license plate or if you're trying to report maybe a drunk driver or something like that. So um, definitely beneficial and really, really good quality stuff. So go ahead and play it again. So as you can see, I can see the cars pulling up next to me before they're even in front of me. That's pretty awesome. Now, yeah, once again, guys, uh, the product is just incredible. The software from Dashcam Viewer that you can get online for free, totally incredible. I recommend no matter what Dashcam you guys decide to get, whether it's the one I'm talking about or any other, definitely get this software. The software is awesome. One of the easiest and user-friendly most user-friendly uh, softwares I've seen. Um, I personally think it's better than what Wheel of Witness even advises you to use. They have a third-party one that they recommend that they do not endorse, but they do uh, speak about. Personally, I think this one's even better. So, yeah, As you can see, the GPS going with the footage, it looks great. Alright guys, in this clip I wanted to show you guys what the night view or night vision looks like on the dash cam. Um, it's another another thing that I'm very, very pleased with on this camera. Um, as you can see, the lighting in my neighborhood is very, very low. There's like one street light for every thousand feet it seems like. Uh, but as you can see on the GPS, um, there I am leaving the neighborhood here. And as you can see even with just my headlights being the only thing lighting it up it still can capture pretty well um, so we're gonna go ahead and let this play through for a second I don't really want to skip forward but we'll show you just kind of the various lighting scenarios um, what's crazy is it was actually pitch black um, at the time that I was driving here as you can see it was you know <laughs> you can see the timestamp there 2100 um, of course military time so it was pretty late. Um, definitely was dark enough outside where what you're seeing on screen is not even close to what I was seeing in person. Uh, much darker. But the settings on the camera really enhance what you see at night. Um, so definitely it looks very, very good when you're reviewing the footage. Uh, it does not... <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny how it's beyond what the human eye is seeing at the actual time that you're driving so uh, definitely something I wanted to make sure to point out but once again like I said just keep in mind the timestamp that you see there the time that's counting 2100 um, being the time of night so of course that's only a couple hours from midnight so you can definitely see <clears throat> how well it's lit for how dark that is See, look at that. Even with how dark it is outside, we can see the green lights on both sides with the 180 degree view, as well as you can see the red light in front of me. So this right here, I can think, I'm going to stop it right here. I can think of a perfect scenario where this would come in handy. If somebody comes through and blazes through one of those red lights, and one of us, whether it be me or that car across from me, uh, making a turn, if one of us comes into that intersection and gets blasted from someone running that red light, this camera angle is going to show that. This is perfect. I mean, you literally, this is the perfect application right here. You can see all three lights at once. You can see what I'm going off of. You can tell, of course, what this guy across the street's coming off of and what the two lights going the other direction show. So 
definitely a very very good example of what could be used um, in the in the time of need so here we go and like I said you can kind of tell off to the right how dark it really is um, where those street lights are um, I guess I just stopped the video uh, but you can kind of tell how dark it was off to the side so I mean it, it just really kind of speaks volumes to how good this camera is in daytime nighttime I mean it's still great quality and like I said the fact that it enhances the light makes it that much better it looks like it's seven eight o'clock the sun going down in the video and it's already after 9 p.m. it's definitely already dark out where I live alright guys if there's anything else that you guys would like me to talk about when it comes to the dash cam um, anything about the software anything else you guys have any questions or recommendations on any ideas for more videos for me to do based on it just let me know in the comments section below um, I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch um, you know if, like I said if you guys have any other questions or suggestions let me know um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video if you thought it was informative subscribe if you guys are new and as usual I'm out